What's good guys, Hey Rock here, welcome to another WWE 2K22 My Rush video. And we have Corvin Klein here, let's see what you guys to talk about. Hey, sir. If you're really going to stick with this better than everyone act, you need to be able to back it up. That being said, we've got an indie wrestler with a PC tryout today, and we really want to test their metal. If you're such a hot shot, think you can keep them down for 10 seconds? Dominic Cole Quinn in a last minute stand in the last minute match. I think I remember Cole Quinn from 2K20. No, 2K19. Losing both games. Ref, stop counting. I'm, I'm, I'm not done with this man yet. I'm not done with this man yet. And I got a new signature move. I'm not done with me yet. Oh, he's definitely not getting out. One, two, and he's three, about to get out. I'm stopping him. I'm stopping him. Four, five, six, seven. Ten seconds to glory. 
Uh, let's see how many story ones we have left. Oh, we have one more in the um in the deployment center. Uh, let me check my social media. Nope, it's not in social field. Oh, I need to get some DMs. You know what? I'm ready to go WWE. I think we've been for the PC for the past four episodes. I think it's time we move on to WWE. PC showcase. I, I think it's time we go to the main roster. And if WWE doesn't accept us, there's always AEW or whoever there is. TNA. Um. Hey, we have some okay, good news. Are, You're not going stop. to have to deal with us much longer. Well, maybe if everything works out. What do you mean? Triple H feels like he's seen enough from you and the rest of the class. So it's time for an official evaluation. Is this the PC showcase you mentioned back on my first day? Exactly. All of the GMs will be here to see you guys in action. If you impress any of them enough, you might receive a contract offer. Thanks for helping me get to this point. I won't let you down. It took some risks along the way and it paid off. Now it's time to deliver and reap the benefits. I'll be ready. We have the matches for the showcase lined up. Paragon is facing Hector, and you'll be going up against Chase. And don't repeat this, but that should set you up to look good in front of the GMs. Yeah, about that road dog. See, I was thinking about his first day. Oh no, it's never good when you're thinking. I know, I know. I was thinking about how he called me out and beat me. It was definitely a statement win for sure. But what I'm getting at is, how about instead of taking another shortcut at the showcase, you face me again instead. You beat me once when I wasn't prepared. Can you do it again in a high-stakes situation? This time, when I'm ready. Just think about this for a second, okay? A win over HBK could open a lot of doors. But that's no easy task. Chase is the safer bet, but but definitely wouldn't impress the GMs as much. Okay, look, I don't want to disrespect Chase, but if I, if, if I fight Chase, I feel like the only thing I'm going to get off is NXT, and I don't think a lot of people watch NXT a lot. And I want to go to, like, Raw, SmackDown, something like that, so I'll just face Shawn Michaels again. Plus, I beat him once, and I can beat him again. I'd be happy to beat you again. Good. But technically, you have to beat me again, twice. It's gonna be a two out of three falls match. That's great and all, guys, but now I need to find a new opponent for Chase, and that's gonna turn into a whole thing. Not that that's your problem. Anyway, before I forget, the GMs want the full presentation for the showcase, so you're going to get to wear the gear you designed a while back. Good luck. Yeah. I know, they don't have to wear this outfit no more. Just a heads up, I wouldn't get all worked up about this PC showcase, since the GMs are really only coming to scout me. That's funny, cause- Who are you even facing anyway? I heard Shawn Michaels? If you heard Shawn Michaels, then why were you asking who I'm facing? Yeah, I'm going to beat him again and show the GMs what they've been missing out on. Are you an idiot? You had the chance to face Chase which would have been a walk in the park and a guaranteed contract offer. But instead, you chose to face a motivated Mr. WrestleMania who's out for revenge. A win over HBK will punch my ticket to anywhere I want to go in WWE. Yeah, and a loss will do nothing. Well, that's why I'm not going to lose.
Oh, that's one and now we need to pin him one more time or make him tap out. You can't carry me. So we got William Regal, Adam Pierce, and Mandy Rose. Okay, so William Regal is obviously an NXT. Adam Pierce is SmackDown one now, and I'm, I'm assuming Mandy Rose is for Raw. I don't know why they use her instead of Sonya Deville, but I'm talking Mandy Rose. I wasn't planning on making any acquisitions, today, okay, she's in but Raw. after what you did against Shawn Michaels, I'm impressed. So I want to offer you the best opportunity you're going to get. A chance to sign with Raw. You're lucky you have me. I always wanted to go on Raw. I need, you know what? Nah. I accept. And after what I did today, I expect you to treat me like the top superstar that I am. You won one match. I'm hoping it's not, but it could have been a fluke for all I know. So until you really prove yourself, I'll treat you however I want. Aww. It's our first fight. Don't make me regret this. Hey, I heard you're going to Raw. Congrats. Thanks. I saw you talking to Regal. He make you an offer? Yeah, and I'm going to take it. I think it's a great fit for my style, and I'll be able to compete for the Cruiserweight Championship. But maybe- Never say never around here. That's right. Buena suerte. Heard you got signed. Congrats. Thanks. What's the matter with you? What's the matter? You and Hector and Paragon all got signed, but no one wanted me, and now I'm stuck here while you guys are all moving on to bigger and better things. Like I said earlier, there's always AEW. No, I'm kidding, but for real, I, I feel bad. Comparing yourself to us isn't going to help. Your time will come, trust me. You just need to take a hard look in the mirror and see what you can change to capitalize on the next What's opportunity with that comes AEW? along. That's good advice. But what if it wasn't anything that I did wrong? What if someone in WWE doesn't want me to succeed? What if I'm being held down? Bro, I think you've been spending too much time on social media. There are no conspiracy theories in play here. All right. But that is exactly what you would say if there was one. Chase, keep your head up and continue to work hard. <laughs> I gotta go clean up my locker. That's not code, is it? Like you're not trying to tell me there's a conspiracy theory against me? That I'm being locked down? Wink twice if I'm onto something. Chase? Like I'm gonna say it one more time, he could stand, he could stop my AEW. You're looking at the blue brand's newest superstar. It took longer than it should have, but finally, I'm gonna show the WWE universe what the rest of the world already knows. When it comes to wrestling, I am the paragon. Good for you. 
I'm gonna do the same thing on Raw, but without the lame attitude and nickname. Wait, you got signed to Raw? Yeah. I actually had offers from all three GMs. Did you not see me beat a WWE Hall of Famer twice? No, I did. I just thought they would recognize it was a total fluke like I did. But I guess every brand needs curtain jerkers. I'm really gonna miss you. Yo, when I go to SmackDown, I'm beating this man. Man, mad annoying. You saw Michael. Too late. Well, you got the better of me again. I'd like to think it would have been a different story 25 years ago, but who knows? Yeah, it probably would have since you'd be wrestling a baby. I get it. I'm ancient. Look, I heard you're going to Raw. Play your cards right, and I think you're going to do big things there. Thanks for saying that. Especially since we haven't always seen eye to eye. It's hard for me to see eye to eye with anyone these days. That's a joke. But nonetheless, this is always a proud day for us. But just remember, don't slip up and embarrass me or the other coaches, okay? So basically, don't do anything you would have done when you were starting out in WWE? Exactly. It's the arrival of the newest addition to Monday nights. Holy here. And the WWE Universe are lucky to have this superstar on Monday Night Raw. I know he's accomplished a lot in other places, but let's see how he does here on the Red Brand. Then we'll talk. Also, some of the social media, um, maybe DMs. The Monday Night Messiah has a favor and belief. And believe you're the man to do it. Cedric Alexander has been a thorn in our side and needs to be taken care of. Do the job right and you could become the honor of the disciple. No, I need more time. I'll pause it up for another video. I just talked to whoever this is, um, Tasha Meadows. It's no secret that I have a soft spot for the more mean-spirited competitors on the roster. It's actually my birthday next week. As a special treat, wondering if you could take out one of Raw's more honorable superstars in a no-DQ match? I swear I won't tell anyone it's for me. Okay, and I guess Angel Angel Garcia, I don't know if I'm not saying his name right, would be a decent match for my first match in Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Japan. Weighing in at 302 pounds, Brown E. He's done a good job of adjusting from pro football to competing on his own in the ring. Pro football is such a team sport, but when you're in the ring... Gentlemen, 
the smoke has just Wait, Angelo Dawkins. A man who truly is always ready for a fight. I thought I was fighting Angel Garza. I think I read that wrong. I I don't know how I messed up that bad that I thought Angel Dawkins to Angel Garza. I think the A and the N messed me up, but I'm kind of still a little tired. Being a WWE superstar requires a lot of physical talent. But on nights like this and a no disqualification match, it's clear that creativity and imagination are equally important. Oh, there's no doubt about it, Michael. If you can imagine a weapon, see an object, or recruit an ally, you can change the course of this match in a heartbeat. If you can dream it, you can do it. So we'll see who can dream the biggest here. Look at that insult to injury with that one. Oh, man. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Cutter. Producing a trampling. Closes, connects. Monkey flip. He's lost some of his win now. Heading up, he's thinking big. Uh-oh. Consecutive attacks keeping Dawkins off his game. This is where Dawkins will be tested. Gotta find a way back in this. Short punch. Standing over their opponent. Here it comes. Bullseye drop. Return fire from Dawkins. Angelo weathered the storm and wants to create a flurry of his own. isn't being given any room to recuperate. In this situation, he has to get resourceful. Yeah, now a leg breaker! He may be in a bad way here. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. If he was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. Belly to belly! That was impressive. Uh-oh. Talk about dismantling your opponent. so he can put him back down. Spare! That can put Dawkins down for good! Bad predicament right here. Open over! And Dawkins is really being knocked around here. This is where Dawkins will be tested. Gotta find a way back in this. Shoves him onto the announce table, looking to end this in spectacular fashion. Caught the leg. Look at this, going counter for counter. Setting up. Nice suplex. Vertical suplex. Go oh, right to the kidneys. God, Dawkins' attack gets reversed. And this is no disqualification match, so I can use whatever I want. Sadistic look that only comes when ladders enter the equation. That's one way to use a ladder. And Dawkins is really being knocked around here. This is where Dawkins will be tested. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna jump off the ladder. Back in this. Okay, um. Heading up the ladder. No, 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 no. Oh my god, 
And I still got him. He has got something destructive in his mind. Here comes the chaos. Oh. It's a massacre out here. That table is broken. They are broken. All right, sliding back in. Duncan's going to be moments away from being beaten. Oh, no. One of the most dreaded maneuvers in all of sports entertainment. Just like he envisioned. Legs are trapped. An inverted surfboard submission. That's it. That's it. And that'll about do it, folks. Here is your winner, Brown E. What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steam. My first win on Monday Night Raw. We'll have more storylines now. You know what? I said I was going to say this for the next video, but I'm going to do it now. I'm going to take on um, Murphy's offer. This superstar looks determined tonight. Whoa, from behind. They're going to settle this right now. And things have seemingly gotten out of hand backstage. No time to wait for a bell to ring. This thing's disintegrating into a backstage brawl. Just rake in the face. My rake in the face. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, oh. man. Ah. Oh. Ugh. Boom. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Expected that one. And another counter. Ah. Great reaction from Cedric. Saw that one coming, took advantage. Whatever's planned here can't be good. Pop up Connor. <laughs> Great wherewithal on the counter. Let him have this moment. He's earned it. I don't know it. why he's talking. I need to change my comments later. 
I have no idea what that was. You know what? Someone's gonna get hurt today. I think I killed him or broke his spine. Uh, you know how it does. We save this match for the next video. Um, I'll see you guys in the next WWE 2K video. Um, peace out, guys.